Michael Voris will be speaking at two events in Wyndham, Irvine, California on Thursday, September 6th and Saturday, September 8th. The first event will be an evening with Michael Voris and the second event will be an all-day conference on the topic of freedom or slavery, the church in the United States. For information on these two great events, go to trulycatholics.com. New York's Cardinal Dolan gives equal time to both political parties. The science guy gives creationism a push into the past and one Detroit parish is reorienting their view of God. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Political prelate Timothy Cardinal Dolan is now giving the quote benediction for both major political party conventions this year. Dolan is now accepting an invitation to say the closing prayer at the Democratic National Convention after being turned down last week by Obama. The Cardinal Archbishop of New York accepted the invitation reportedly after liberals complained his appearance in Tampa for the GOP gathering signaled an endorsement of Romney according to the Associated Press. According to the New York Archdiocese, however, Dolan will only be present as a pastor to offer up prayer, not to endorse any party, platform, or candidate. Dolan will be sharing the same stage at the Democratic National Convention as Planned Parenthood President Cecile Richards, as well as the director of NARAL Pro-Choice America and pro-abort activist Sandra Fluke. Carolina Caliphate. 20,000 Muslims are expected to show up at the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte to join radical Islamic supremacists in a prayer session hosted by the party. The Blaze.com reports the Bureau of Muslim Affairs is partnering with Democrats for the event, which is being held to attack the Patriot Act, the NYPD, and the National Defense Authorization Act, as well as anti-Sharia sentiment. The American Islamic Forum for Democracy, a watch group, says the two leaders of the event have previous ties to radical Muslim groups, with one of them belonging to a mosque known for ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. It is also being reported the thousands of Muslims anticipated to attend will also be coming from radical Islamist networks that have been in present for some time in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Contraception confusion. A school district in Northern California is being sued for teaching an abstinence-only sex education curriculum to its students. The American Civil Liberties Union and the Gay Straight Alliance Network are two organizations involved in the lawsuit against the Clovis Unified School District, which accuses the institution of putting children at risk by not indoctrinating them to contracept. The Los Angeles Times reports the region where the school district is located has one of the highest teen pregnancy and STD rates in the state. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Barack Obama and Mitt Romney are in a dead heat in the polls as they head to their respect, respective parties' conventions. A Gallup poll that has been rolling over the past several weeks shows that this week the two are dead even, claiming 46% of surveyed voters. A Washington Post ABC survey with a two-point margin of error has, actually, has Romney on top with 47 points to Obama's 46. But Romney's lead still falls within the margin of error and is therefore not guaranteed. Neither candidate thus far seems to have solidified momentum in the presidential race but Romney is definitely gaining ground. Science Guy slams supernatural. It seems Bill Nye, the science guy, has a bone to pick with those who deny the theory of evolution in favor of creationism. A video, in a video for an online educational forum, Nye, host of the 90s children's science show that bore his name, states that those who deny evolution are harming scientific progress and actually hurting kids in the process. The video, which has tallied over one million views on YouTube, shows Nye pleading with parents to, quote, properly educate their children. He goes on to claim that in a couple hundred years, the creationist worldview will, world will not exist. 
since there is, quote, no evidence for it. In addition to making the video, Nye has been keeping busy stumping for President Obama in his campaign for re-election. Detroit, Detroit Parish restores future. Assumption Grotto Parish in the Archdiocese of Detroit is moving forward with liturgical renewal by removing an altar that faced the people. The pastor, Father Perone, decided to restore the high altar after reading a book called The Spirit of the Liturgy, where then Cardinal Ratzinger talks about the importance of facing God when celebrating Mass, which is traditionally the easterly direction. Father Perone went on to explain that when a priest faces the people, he creates a, quote, closed circle and thereby makes man the focal point and not God. Grotto Parish is still only one of a handful of parishes in the Archdiocese of Detroit celebrating the Tridentine Mass, also called the Extraordinary Form. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on churchmilitant.tv. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks about trust in princes and being Catholic first and foremost during election season. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We are now churchmilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. Churchmilitant.tv. Join us in combat. Become a premium member today.